In this video, we're overclocking the Core i9-13900K processor all the way up to 6 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the whole picture on how to overclock this system. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS in easy mode, click on XMP Expo disabled. That enables the Intel Extreme Memory Profile 3.0 technology and makes the DDR5 memory run at its rated speed of DDR5-6200. Switch to advanced mode. Set CPU base clock to 99.85 MHz. That is a simple workaround in case the VF points don't work correctly in combination with 100 MHz PCLK. Enter the advanced CPU settings submenu. Set voltage reduction initiated TVB to disabled. That prevents the CPU from automatically reducing the voltage based on its current operating temperature. This feature is useful when relying on the default voltages and ratios. However, it may cause instability when manually tuning the voltage frequency curve. Set AVX settings to user defined. Now we can adjust the AVX negative ratio offset, which lowers the P core ratio when AVX is used. The AVX offset is referenced against the per P core ratio limit, which we'll configure later. Set AVX offset to 2. Set active turbo ratios to manual. That enables us to configure a dynamic P core and E core overclock. We can configure the maximum P core ratio for a given number of active P cores and the maximum E core ratio for a given number of active E cores. Set turbo ratio 1 P core active to 60. Set turbo ratio 2 P core active to 60. Set turbo ratio 3 P core active to 60. Set turbo ratio 4 P core active to 60. Set turbo ratio 5 P core active to 59. Set turbo ratio 6 P core active to 59. Set turbo ratio 7 P core active to 57. Set turbo ratio 8 P core active to 56. Set turbo E core ratio 1 to 44. Set turbo E core range 1 to 16. Set turbo per core limit control to manual. Now we can limit the maximum ratio for each P core individually. Even if the active turbo ratio configuration would allow for a higher P core frequency, the P core ratio limit is enforced. Note that the limit is CPU and P core specific, and thus your CPU's P core may need very different limits. Set turbo P core 0, 1, 2, 3, 5 and 7 to 60. Set turbo P core 4 and 6 ratio limit to 56. Leave the advanced CPU settings submenu. Set V core voltage mode to adaptive V core. By choosing the adaptive voltage mode, we can configure a dynamic voltage configuration that matches our dynamic active turbo ratio configuration. Set VF offset mode to selection. That enables Intel's advanced voltage offset feature, more commonly known as VF points. This feature extends the adaptive voltage mode by allowing end users to undervolt or overvolt specific points of the CPU factory fused voltage frequency curve. Set internal CPU V core to 1.45. That is the adaptive voltage which maps to the OC ratio. The OC ratio is the highest point of the voltage frequency curve and equal to the highest configured CPU ratio. In our case, that's 60x. The voltage between 60x and the next VF point, 58x, is interpolated by the CPU. Set VF point 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 to minus 50 millivolt. Enter the advanced voltage settings submenu. Enter the CPU VRM settings submenu. Here we can make changes to the voltage regulator configuration. We adjust the VRM load line to minimize the V droop, which is the voltage drop when the CPU goes from idle to full load. 
We choose the VRM load line with the smallest V droop, so the effective voltage deviates the least from our manually configured CPU voltage frequency curve. Set CPU vCore load line calibration to turbo. Enter the internal VR control submenu. Here we can set expert settings related to the CPU core voltage regulator. By defining the AC-DC load line, we can make the CPU adapt its voltage management to the motherboard's electrical impedance. The AC load line is used to adjust the voltage request from the CPU to the voltage regulator, whereas the DC load line is used to make sure the CPU internal power management appropriately adapts to the AC and VRM load line configuration. Set IA AC load line to 1, set IA DC load line to 1, then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 12.73% in AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 6000 MHz for all P cores except P core 4 and 6. When running Prime 95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU P core clock is 5,492 MHz, and the average CPU E core clock is 4,287 MHz with 1.319 volts. The average CPU temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26 and 39 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 337.1 watts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching and my patrons for the support and See you next time.